Otherwise, uh, the um, what do you also need in when presenting business data? Okay, we, we saw the comparison to previous year, but of course you you typically have more comparisons. So um, typical and typical situation is where you will have some actuals. Let's say these these this is my sales now. So I have my sales data up until August, and then this is empty. And then these are my previous year's values. Uh, this is my plan, of course, for, for the whole year. And I also have a forecast, okay? Forecast is something that will make your, your reports much more actionable because you are not um, observing the data just up until this, this, this month and the year-to-date values, what has happened basically up, and, uh, up until today. Um, and this would just mean looking at the past data all the time, right? To achieve actionable reporting, uh, you need to um, involve uh, the forecasts. So you need to add forecasts uh, uh, to, to your analysis. So that's why I have another column here. So now I have my actual compared to three scenarios, which gives me much better context and now i now i can understand all right in june i was much below the plan here okay and even below previous previous year here because i see this this marker uh the gray marker actually uh represents the previous year as you see here in the label okay and also i have my values up until uh, up until august but i also have the forecast for the rest of the year, all right? So now I have a glimpse into the future, what is going to happen, what is our latest estimation uh, for the rest of the year. And uh, yeah, I actually see that, all right, uh, we started the year quite well, and then we were below the plan, unfortunately, but the situation is improving now. And uh, yeah, it is also going to uh, this positive trend, um, is continuing also in the future uh, month uh, right until the end of year okay so this is what this column chart would would um, explain to me and then maybe if i take a look at the uh, waterfall chart here let's just cut the axis briefly to understand this okay so you see um, in the, the waterfall chart gives me additional information which is okay uh, how exactly am I going to end my whole year? So the plan was 8.9 million. And then the forecast up until the end of the year is uh, 8.6 uh, million, which means that we'll end our year, if everything goes according to this forecast, of course, 6.6% <laughs> uh, above my plan. Uh, which is which is great. So, so so this ability to you know to to display different types of charts and and just change them dynamically in a meeting or something uh, gives you this this option uh, enables you to um, tell better stories with, with your data, explain the data from from different angles uh, so that people will actually uh, understand it and that you know you can actually discuss um uh, actions needed um you know needed to correct a certain situation or or something like that